I'm Jane King for The Street from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. Powerful Hurricane Irma having an economic impact even before it's made landfall in the U.S. Shares of insurance companies, HCI Group, Universal Insurance Holdings, and Heritage Insurance, which provide property and casualty homeowners insurance in the Sunshine State, down 13 to 16 percent. Now, American Airlines has canceled flights involving the Caribbean and South Florida. Also, the NFL has postponed the Tampa Bay and the Miami Dolphins game on Sunday. And Bloomberg is reporting that FEMA is almost out of money. Well, HPO, HPE's stock is higher after beating earnings expectations. The results come after the company slimmed down and cut costs. Also, the press release on the earnings indicated that CEO Meg Whitman won't be leaving the company for Uber or anywhere else anytime soon. And Facebook being accused of inflating its ad reach by a lot. A Pivotal Research Group analyst says Facebook's ads manager claims a potential reach of 41 million 18 to 24-year-olds and 60 million 25 to 34 year olds in the US. But US Census data shows that last year there were a total of 31 million people between 18 and 24 and 45 million in the 25 to 34 age group. Well, happening today, July trade deficit numbers are out, the ISM Services Index is released, and the Fed will unveil its latest beige book. That's a wrap for us. But be sure to track breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com, at the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. I'm Jane King for The Street. Have a great day.